what's up everyone it is Thais here so we are at the end of 2020 what a great blessing to just make it to the end of the year in good health it's so amazing so I will be doing my yearly roundup of the best products that I discovered in 2020 basically the top of the top or the best of the best products that I discovered so I will be doing natural hair skincare and a little bit of body care in there and a few beauty products in there but not much everything is mostly natural hair so I hope that you guys are having a great end of the year I hope that you are getting ready to start 2021 with a bang and just close out everything that happened this year this year has been crazy huh like coronavirus <laughs> I think that's been like the highlight of this year for everyone like who would have thought we would live to see a pandemic in our lifetime it's crazy it's stuff you see in the movies and the shows and it happened but there's so many other great things that happen that outweighs the coronavirus as long as you didn't contract it or become ill of it then you're good but you know for those who did um I do wish you the best and I wish you a great recovery and if you survived it I'm very thankful to know that you survived it and condolences to those who lost family and friends from it of course so let's go over these bomb products that I discovered this year so I will be starting with um okay so I'm gonna start in the front right here so Two bomb, I mean not two, but this is one product. This is two different scents. So I discovered the Ancient Cosmetics Body Yogurt. So I'm a big fan of Ancient Cosmetics, but I always use their body butter and their body oil. Not the body oil, the, uh, their other products, but the best product I discovered this year is their body yogurt. So this is basically an all natural lotion product. So the first ingredient in here is aloe juice. And everything else is like natural ingredients compared to like mainstream lotion so these are a lot lighter than their body butter and they're not as greasy so it instantly sinks into the skin but it's so moisturizing guys like my skin stays moisturized all day when I use this stuff oh my goodness I don't have to worry about reapplying lotion here and there <laughs> so it is so good I actually like these more than the body butter to be honest like I feel like I'm gonna continue using the body yogurts in replacement of the body butter since they can be a bit greasy to put on at times so i also discovered the essie gel couture nail polish so if you've been seeing my nails lately if you guys can see like look at this this is how my nails have been looking lately so this nail polish is so good so i don't have to worry about using gel and dip powder and messing up my natural nails so I've been just taking care of my natural nails and sticking to regular nail polish and these nail polish really do resemble gel oh my goodness and they last so long like I get a full week of wearing these I get a few chips but not in comparison to like regular polish where they chip the same day after you polish your nail this is so different these leave the nail so nice for a long time something else i discovered are the oh my goodness so i couldn't choose i couldn't choose between these two so it will have to be the lily sado matcha green tea mask this mask is so different because it doesn't dry down and make the face crunchy and dried out like other um, facial mask that I use and the texture of it is so aesthetically pleasing I'm almost out of it oh my goodness I need to buy some more but it is so good I'm so happy I discovered it and another bomb product from the line is the vitamin C serum so what else is hair so I became a fan of the body the Bath and Body Works candle so I'm a big fan. I'm happy I discovered the candle. I will definitely keep buying more candles in 2021 20, from them. Okay, so let's move on to some hair stuff. So for hair, I'm going to go with the Humble Glow Bonnet. Yes. <laughs> so of 
course you guys know I couldn't leave my product out because we launched um, this year so of course I discover bomb satin bonnets like look at this bonnet this double lined high quality satin adjustable it is so comfortable to wear at night this is the most comfortable and beautiful bonnet I have ever owned it is so good I'm happy I discovered this bonnet it's so amazing and I also love the shower cap so I finally upgraded from using the little cheap disposable shower caps when I take a shower to a high quality shower cap this is also from humble glow and as you can see I love the quality this keeps my hair dry in the shower and it's so cute to wear I love the design as well and it has great space so yep so happy I discovered those two what else is in here okay so the snappy hair ties so I recently discovered these I love that this is so different because I can take them apart connect them make it as long as I want and wear my hair in a high puff without getting a headache so this was a bomb discovery for 2021 I mean 2020 this is a bomb hair butter oh my goodness so this hair butter is from rooted royalty and this hair butter I don't know it's so different it resembles more of a butter and jelly mixed in one I cannot describe the texture of it but it's so soft in texture and it's just so different you just have to experience it to see what I'm talking about but this is such a bomb butter like this leaves my hair moisturized for days and it gives my hair this lasting definition without actually being a styler or a gel or a styling cream that's so strange but I absolutely love this product oh my goodness I discovered it this year and I'm definitely getting some more for 2021 see I've been digging all in there look at that I've been using this so much I need a new jar soon probably within the next two months <laughs> it's so good Camille Rose Curl Love so this is a moisturizing leave-in conditioner it can be it can also be used as a moisturizer and this stuff is so bomb I love this product okay so like um the Lily Sado I couldn't choose one product from the Calypso Camille Rose line it agrees so much with my hair so this stuff is super moisturizing but I also discovered their sweet ginger cleansing rinse so this is their shampoo this is a bomb shampoo like this shampoo is amazing they gave it the perfect name I love that they called it a cleansing rinse because it doesn't feel like a shampoo it cleans my hair zero stripping super conditioning and I couldn't leave out their deep conditioner. Oh my goodness. Camille Rose really agrees with my hair. The, the algae deep conditioning mask is super moisturizing. It's so good. So I would definitely still be using these products in 2021. They're a staple for me. So this was the year I discovered the um, Tree Naturals. My favorite thing from the Tree Naturals is this conditioner bar. It is going off. I would, I should put their shampoo bar in there too. The shampoo bar is equally as good, but I feel like the conditioner really steals the show out of everything in their line that I tried so far. This is an organic conditioner bar. And look at that. It's so different. You always see um shampoo bars but i've never seen a conditioner bar this is my first time seeing one so when i tried it it was so good i mean it moisturizes my hair well my hair feels so good after rinsing out this conditioner mm. and the green tea and coconut is a perfect combination oh my goodness the scent is going off i wish they made the whole line with this scent this green tea and coconut scent it's everything so I also have in here the 4C only 
clean shampoo or I have both I couldn't choose again <laughs> both of these are good so the 4c only two clean shampoo and the 4c only two thick deep conditioner yeah so this brand is so revolutionary um I wanted to put the whole line but these are my top two faves from the whole line but the I would say the brand itself is a great um discovery of 2020 it it's definitely a highlight being that this is like the first brand dedicated entirely to 4c hair texture so that was so different the shampoo they mastered the shampoo the shampoo is so so moisturizing doesn't strip the hair at all but it cleans the hair so well the deep conditioner is bomb intense moisture everything this line itself was a great find i should put the whole line how can i i almost left this out i picked this up at the last minute i was like i went in my bathroom closet i completely forgot about this product i went in my bathroom closet and i opened it to get something and i was like how can i leave out the allocate natural so the allocate naturals lemongrass styling gel is the truth it is the best styling gel for 4c hair it definitely adds a great hole if you're doing like sleek hairstyles this is the gel for you it has intense hole bomb i'm definitely buying more of this in 2021 this is the only one okay so the mail heat protective spray is amazing oh my goodness i finally bought a new heat protective spray and this one really does a great job at um, protecting my hair from the heat but also maintaining the softness in my hair after blow dry my hair don't feel hard and dried out and I feel like this product definitely does a great job so I'm so happy I discovered the Mayel heat protectant Old Tentacles Pumpkin Kylan Healing Locks Deep Clean Curl Detox that's a long name I've never seen a product with such a long name so I discovered this product this fall and it is so good oh my goodness I love this clay wash it detoxes my hair without leaving that hard feeling on my hair my hair feels amazing after using it this actually feels like a deep conditioner it feels amazing so I'm kind of sad they only sell this around fall time so I have to wait all the way until fall 2021 to buy this product again so I bought this back in October yeah I used some of it look at it so I've been using it texture is so different it looks like a mud mask mm -mm -mm. that was good um so y'all know I couldn't leave this product out so this is the Kennedy's Essentials co-wash the honey mint co-wash this is one of the best co-washes i have used on my hair oh my goodness i'm happy i discovered this it definitely cleans my hair without stripping it i mean not cleans my hair without stripping it but it cleans my hair without stripping it and it cleans my hair without leaving my hair feeling dirty like most co-washes i use on the natural hair market they sort of leave the hair feeling like you use the actual conditioner it doesn't feel like it have any cleansing agent in there but this one has a great balance of cleaning the hair but also conditioning the hair at the same time like when I rinse this out I don't see any um, product residue left in my hair my scalp is clean too that's about it for hair let's see um so I this year I discovered the honey pot co so this is a plant-based feminine wash and I'm so happy I discovered this um, I'm very sensitive down there so I can't really use regular soap and a lot of perfumey things and this one does such a great job it actually smells like vinegar it doesn't even smell anything like um it doesn't have that typical feminine wash scent it smells like pure vinegar and I actually like that about it. I was like let me read the, the ingredients so I do realize that vinegar is the third ingredient so that's why it smells like vinegar yeah but it works so well i definitely love it and i will be buying more in 2021 the final um favorite of 
2020 that I will be bringing into 2021 is the Coco Chanel number no. one perfume. So I got this as a gift for my anniversary um, this year, this month, December. If you're watching it in 2020, it's December. Um, I got it for my anniversary and it smells so good. Oh my goodness. It's one of the best perfumes. Actually, the best perfume scent I've owned. This will have to be the best perfume scent I've owned. It smells really good. I love that. It has um, a nice sweet touch. It, it's just so hard to describe. It smells sweet and perfumey at the same time, which is my typical scents that I go for. I have to have a hint of sweetness in my perfumes for me to use it and actually like it. So that's everything that I discovered this year. Oh my goodness. Did I cover everything? Oh my goodness, I almost forgot about the Botanica Beauty. <laughs> the um, protein treatment. So this is from Botanica Beauty. And this is a real protein treatment. This is not the typical protein treatment where it's like a protein deep conditioner. This is actually a real protein treatment. It's a liquid. It reminds me of the Afogee I used to use when I was relaxed. When you look at the texture, it's clear. And it looks like a liquid. That's how you can tell like it's a strong and real protein treatment. So... Yeah, I'm happy I discovered this. I will keep buying this because sometimes your hair need a hard protein once in a while. So this is definitely a hard protein. So yeah, that's about it for everything I discovered in 2020. So I was just in the middle of packing up everything and I was like, I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> and I'm actually wearing it. So I discovered headband wigs this year. This is the kinky curly ones. Oh my goodness, this adds such a great variety to my um my hair journey. Being that I can just throw these on anytime my hair isn't fixed and just go. Like under this, I had some old twists I've been wearing for like three days around the house. So I was like, oh my goodness, I need to film this video. How should I do my hair? And I was like, mm, I don't want to take it out. Let me throw on my wig. So I'm happy I discovered headband wigs. I also have another texture hair. This is a uh, kinky curly texture. This one is uh, afro kinky. Both of them are really nice. So getting ready for the new year. I'm excited to see the gems I discover next year because every year is so surprising. There's always something new that you learn, that you, new people you meet, new things you learn, new products you discover, new places you go. So I'm looking forward to the new year. I hope that you found this video interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm so happy to share everything with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great end of the year and I will most likely see you next year in 2021. Yeah, so this is my final video of 2020. Um, see you guys soon. Bye.